and I'm live. Yeah, the boys and I decided I had to take I had to take care of some business here at uh, in San Antonio, and the boys wanted to come and say hello to their old pals, and I dropped them off, and I just couldn't resist uh, stopping by and revisiting Blaine's old stomping ground. This shithole called Nick's Hospital. <laughs> hey, there's some people there. Everybody, yeah, good to see y'all too. Kinsley Family, Oakley Fisher, Trevin, uh, Drake Holmes, Angel Coberson, good to see y'all. So, anyway, I'm gonna turn this around. It looks like this shithole, and by the way, if you've got sensitive ears, I've been trying to be real careful with my language, but I'm probably gonna drop some F-bombs. I hate this place so fucking bad, but it looks like it might actually be up for sale. They've got all these cones here. Looks kind of derelict and run down. Even the sign itself has got some kind of tape over it. I hope they went broke, and I think that every single hospital administrator in Nick's hospital deserves to go to prison for their disgusting policies in this shithead this shithole town of San Antonio I've got almost no good memories here whatsoever San Antonio Police Department is an absolute disgrace the cops that arrested my son Blaine three years ago should all be they all belong in prison every fucking one of them I hate these people so bad I was talking to Blaine all these windows they've got you the kid he couldn't see shit he couldn't see outside of though they're all boarded up this is where they strapped my son down to a fucking gurney and pumped him full of drugs when I showed up and said I'm here right there in that doorway is where they said I had to have a code you have to give us a code. I said, that's my son. Well, give me the code. They wouldn't give me the fucking code. So anyways, for those of you that are just joining, I had some business to take care of in this shithole town of San Antonio, Texas. And I'm not trying to upset anybody. I do still have some friends here. Not all the people here are bad, but Oh my God, the zombies are everywhere. I've, this is the first time I've really been out in the big city since all the COVID crap hit. And every single person's got these fucking diapers over their faces. It, and they're all looking at me like I'm some weirdo. But yeah, San Antonio Police Department, Nick's Hospital, y'all have just, y'all put a horrible, horrible black eye on the city of San Antonio. I was dropping Hayden off earlier after I dropped Blaine off because they wanted to see their friends, but I drove by that old neighborhood and oh my God, I just, I got this knot in my stomach. And I just couldn't help, let me turn y'all back around. I just couldn't help stopping by Blaine's old stomping grounds. He was kept against his will for a week on two separate occasions at this place. So, hey, everybody, on the count of three, let's give a big, nice fuck you to Nick's Hospital. One, two, three. Fuck you, Nick's Hospital. If there's any lawyers out there, I've tried to find lawyers that would help me sue these assholes, but I was never successful. I'm gonna, it's not in there just yet, but after I get done with this, I'm gonna put my email in the in the in the description box. If anybody wants to, if you're a nosy lawyer that's just super super bloodthirsty and just really wants to go for the throat, I'm happy to testify as being a first-hand witness of what these pricks did to my son. So, anyways. Oh, let's see, I got anybody in the chats? That's right, Deanna. Fuck you, Nicks. Sorry for what they did to you. Yeah. Okay, I can't read that one, but 
Uh, I know what you mean. Everybody <laughs> hates Nick's, that's right. Because Nick's and their policies are disgusting. Oh, there went a San Antonio Police Department uh, cop. They are absolutely everywhere here. But anyway, like I said, they got some weird tape on there and there's no cars and there's cones at the entrance on both entrances. Those those entrance lights are on, but it just this and it looks like a for sale sign, but it just looks like it's a derelict building and I hope they lost their ever loving ass. If I had anything to do with them getting a shitty reputation and them going broke, that is an absolute badge of honor that I'm proud to wear. Randro Productions, yeah, sue them. I wish. I want to sue them. Unfortunately, the family court system of Texas has left me basically broke. It's getting a little better for me financially, thanks to you people and your love from here on, uh, on, uh, on my channel. But I don't have the money, nor can I even find a lawyer that's mean enough that would actually want to take these assholes on. Okay, some of y'all are new and asking what happened. Those are probably the Hows Parker people, the ones that y'all only saw the Parker movies. That's why I keep telling everybody, if you wanna know how my kids are doing, you gotta keep going and watch the Blaine series. This is where they kept my son Blaine twice on two different occasions for over a week against, against his will. And both times I showed up drove uh, 350 miles from Odessa just to get him and they refused to let him go with me and I'm still pissed about it I'm, I know I need to let this anger go I'm um, believe me I've read all the books I've seen all the what the professionals say I've got to get rid of this but I'm still fucking pissed I still hate these people I hate these people with every fiber of my being they're disgusting their policies they've set forth the way they treat people and again th this building looks like with all the cones and the lack of cars it looks like they're already broke and I hope they did and I hope they all burn in hell I've got zero respect for these fucking pricks and again I'm sorry about the f-bomb if you're just joining might not want to stay on this one because I'm mad all over again and I just want some justice because this is bullshit just driving through this town just this whole day I, I had to be here to take care of some business but driving through here see here's that sign I was let's see right there looks like a for sale sign I had to take care of some business and so the boys wanted to ride along so they can they've still got some good friends here so they wanted to hang out with them so I dropped them off and I just couldn't resist there's another cop that's a sheriff he's a canine unit I just couldn't resist stopping by and giving Nick's Hospital just one more nail in the coffin of my, how much I fucking hate these people. Burn in hell. No, I can't go to the building because this. The, if you ever saw the last protest I did here, or the only protest I did, no, I think I did it twice. Hell, I can't even remember. They met me so quickly they knew i was coming they're they're stalking my uh my uh my, my news feed when i had to dr when i drove here to get blaine and i announced that i was going to be having a protest here and my friend amber the first time i'd ever met her she came and she's the only one that came but anyway i was glad to have her if you'll notice i was coming in right here and that cop stopped me right there they knew i was coming and said you can park anywhere anywhere you want but not here you, you can't park here this is private property i said i don't remember exactly what i said i'm thinking you know my, you've got my kid you asshole if anything i'm a customer so i can't go up to the building because i don't want them accusing me of trespassing if inevitably some of the 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 higher ups at Nick's Hospital, if they're even still, they look like, I don't know if it's just this branch that shut down or the whole thing. I hope the whole fucking thing's burnt to the ground. Not, no, 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 figuratively speaking, figuratively speaking, I, do, I don't, I'm not inciting violence, but I do want to sue these pricks for what they did to my son twice. 
they ripped my heart out of my chest twice and I hate them for it. And yes, I'm still mad about it. And yes, I know I need to get over it and I will in due time. But I just couldn't help but stop by one last time and just say a big fuck you to Nick's Hospital and everybody in their disgusting leadership. And same goes for San Antonio Police Department. I called 911 for help. I needed an ambulance and they sent another fucking cop and I'm still pissed about it. So anyways, I'm probably not going to stay babbling on too long. There's my old truck just for proof that I'm not on Nick's property. I parked over there. At, that thing was open the last time I was here. It looks like it's closed down too. What does my shirt say? It says St. Patrick's Day. Thank you, Miss Mary. I'm so glad to see you. Yeah, I felt really good to get that off my chest. Oh, oh just final. Fuck you, Nick's Hospital. I hate everything about you. Parker's fine. Hey, from Colin Cochran. What's up from Vegas? I'm behind you all the way, brother, from BDG Radio. Radio. You look extra good. Hang on. It's literally still a hundred degrees here i gotta get in my truck i'm not a young chicken anymore i'm old oh my gosh man i feel better oh my gosh i feel so much better getting that out of my system sophia powell Hello from England. Let's see. E.G. Kappa. They are permanently closed. I hope so. I hope I can sue them posthumously. I just started watching your videos today, trying to follow the history of what happened to you and your son. What was done to your son at Nick's Hospital Behavior. Well, Ali, just, you'll have to go back and just, I just went through it. I don't want to bore everybody. Oh, what the hell. They put, but four years after the Parker thing happened, Blaine was arrested multiple times and twice was put here at the Knicks Hospital. I just happened to be in town and just happened to want to give the Knicks a piece of my mind. And I feel so much better. Man, that feels good to let that out. Okay, awesome AGP or good father, K, at least you know. What Nick Sasso totally did was wrong, yes. Start a GoFundMe page. They could probably raise enough money to sue them. If you do, I'll definitely donate, bro. From Flying Asian 101. Um I've done GoFundMe's before. I I kind of hesitate just constantly having another GoFundMe. Uh, I might. I, I really don't know. America needs to reform the fact that some that a hospital can abduct someone's kid is horrible yeah they i've walked right in showed them my id and everything and nope they would they wouldn't give me the code that i said that they said i had to have to get in angel culverson i'll be praying for you and your family thank you so what happened to the one later was i'm not talking about that oh man well i would fund you too man well if y'all know a good lawyer that's just got a heart of absolute rock, a heart of stone that's just stone cold, that's got claws like Wolverine that wants to do a pro bono suit and sue the ever-loving shit out of Nick's hospital, please let me know. I've tried this a few years ago and either I didn't check the comments, which are all now deleted. And by the way, I'm not the one, if you're new to this, I'm not the one taking my comments down. YouTube is. I've been in touch with them. They say they're working on it working on it I don't know <sighs> well we're pushing 15 minutes here and it's getting dark and I feel so much better give if you missed the beginning want to find out what I'm raising hell about I just couldn't resist 
telling Nick's Hospital to absolutely go burn in hell one last time. So, anyway, y'all are great. I love y'all. Um, hope everybody's doing well. Uh, y'all take care. Bye. Do I do any cop watching? Oh, yeah, I used to. I don't do it nearly as much as I do or as I did back then. And I forgot how to. There it goes.